how's it going everybody Mr. Android here. So you may have just picked up your brand new Pixel 8 or 8 Pro and you really wanted to find out some of the best tips, tricks and hidden features to make most out of this beautiful smartphone. Then you have clicked on the right video. Today I'll be showing you 25 plus tips, tricks and hidden features that will definitely make your Pixel experience a lot better. So stay tuned and watch it till the very end. Also let's aim for at least 1500 likes on this one. Well that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. First, let me show you how to activate the OLS on display on your brand new Pixel device. Just go into your phone settings, select display and then select lock screen. Here you need to scroll down and turn on this option that says always show time and info. This actually activates the OLS on display on your phone and you get this beautiful looking clock along with all your notifications and it even shows you the battery percentage as well. Next, let me show you a couple of lock screen customizations that Google introduced with Android 14. All you need to do is just tap and hold on your lock screen and below you get this option that says customize lock screen. Simply select that and it will ask you to unlock your phone using your fingerprint. Here we have got this brand new lock screen customization screen and there are a bunch of really cool clock styles that will help you to customize and take your phone's lock screen to the next level. If you just tap on it, it shows you the actual preview of how your lock screen look. And not only that, you can also change the clock color and size as per your preference. It even lets you to configure the lock screen shortcuts. By default, it is set to camera and mute, but you can change it to toggle the flashlight, open your video camera directly from your lock screen, scan a QR code and you can assign it to activate the DND mode as well. So these are the customizations that you can do on your lock screen. And if you click on this home screen tab, this is where you can find all the options related to your home screen. First, you can change the theme color depending on the color of your wallpaper. You can apply different wallpapers onto your home screen. And if you just tap on more wallpapers and then click on this option called AI wallpapers, here you can easily generate some beautiful AI wallpapers to customize your phone. You just need to select a theme, change the color and texture, then tap on this option called create wallpaper. It will take some time and then you will get some amazing AI wallpapers for your home screen. Now you don't have to download any third party app just to find wallpapers. You can easily create some really good wallpapers in just a few clicks. Next, if you want to change the color of your app icons to match your wallpaper, then simply enable this option called themed icons. This will customize and change the color of all your app icons. Finally, if you want to change the app grid, just click on this last option and here you can change the grid size. By default, it is set to 4x5, but if you want to add more apps in a row, then you can change it to 5x5. So these are all the customizations that you get for your lock screen as well as the home screen. Now if you have got yourself the Pixel 8 Pro, you paid heaps of money for a really sharp quad HD display, but did you know it is not even enabled by default? So just go to your phone settings, select display, scroll down and click on this option that says screen resolution. It will be set to high resolution, just switch it to full resolution which is the sharpest display that you can get on this phone. It definitely consumes a bit more battery. But since you have paid a lot of money for this amazing display, then why not you should enable and start using it right now. If you swipe down and open the quick settings panel, even though you get all the useful toggles, I'll still recommend you to add some more toggles that are quite helpful. Simply click on this edit icon. Here you can hold and drag all the tiles that are quite useful for you. I always prefer adding the location, battery saver and even the extra dim toggle to the main layout for easier access. So you can look into this and add all the useful toggles to your main interface. Since your Pixel 8 already running the latest Android 14, did you know there is a new way of doing copy paste which is actually inspired by the iOS but I am glad that Google added this useful feature on Android. So whenever you want to copy anything, instead of just selecting a text, tap on copy and hitting paste, what you can do is just select a text, press and hold and by using your other finger, now open the app in which you want to paste it. Simply drag the text onto the other app like this. I think it is extremely useful and not only you can do this with text, but you can also drag and drop images as well. This can be useful when you want to copy and send anything to your friend in WhatsApp or any other messaging app. Let's talk about one of my favorite feature that is available in Pixel devices and it's called Now Playing. If you go inside Display Settings, select Lock Screen, scroll down and you will find this option called Now Playing. Once you turn it on, what it does is, it basically shows you the name of a song that is playing around you on your lock screen. I think it's a very convenient feature and you don't have to install any third party app, you get it right inside your phone settings. 
The simplest way to take a screenshot on a pixel is by double tapping on the back of your phone. Not only this, but you can also assign the double tap gesture to toggle the flashlight. You can play or pause music, open any app of your choice and do a lot more. To activate this feature on your phone, go into settings, system and select gestures. Here you need to click on this option called quick tap to start actions. Simply turn it on and you can choose from a bunch of different actions. Since we are in gestures, I will also suggest you to turn on this option called flip to sh. This instantly activates the D&D mode when you place your phone face down on a flat surface like this. Next, there is a really useful feature in Android 14 called flash notifications. If you go into settings, select accessibility. Here you need to scroll down and you will find this option called flash notifications. It basically triggers the camera flash when you receive notifications on your phone. If you want, you can also enable the screen flash and this will flash the screen when you receive notifications. You can customize and change the flash color as per your need. If I open my recent apps menu, not only it shows all the recent applications, but it also allows me to copy anything from this menu and paste it anywhere I want. I can copy photos, text or even links and share it to my friends directly from this menu. It makes it so easy that you don't even have to take a screenshot or use Google Lens. You can copy anything directly from this task manager. Another feature that I found inside the recent menu is when I click on any app icon, there is this option called pause app. This will block notifications from that specific app for the rest of your day. Let's say you are watching something and you don't want to get disturbed from the WhatsApp notifications for a while, you can use this feature and then you can easily unpause the app anytime you want. Next, let me show you a couple of really cool photo editing tricks. Pixel Devices has an exclusive feature called Unblur that helps you to reduce the unwanted blur from any picture that you have in your gallery. You simply need to select an image and then tap on this edit icon. Here you get this option called Unblur. Simply click on it and within few seconds, it will remove the blur from that picture. You also have the ability to adjust the amount of blur that you want to add. Similarly, there is another useful tool called Magic Editor and let me show you how that actually works. Let's say I want to remove this lady from the picture. I just need to tap on edit and click on this magic editor icon that is on the bottom left. Now I just need to tap on the object that I want to remove from the picture and click on this option called erase. It takes some time and then it will completely remove that object from the picture. Not only this, it even allows you to move and change the position of anything in the picture. It absolutely works like a magic and there is also an option to change the sky color so you can give a more cinematic look to your photos. Next, if I talk about videos, there is an option to remove background noise from the videos that you have recorded. If you just tap on this edit icon and select audio, now you get this option that says audio eraser. This will reduce all the distracting sounds like wind or crowds and make your audio sounds much better. So these are all the photo editing tools that can be found only in Pixel smartphones. Even though the Pixel 8 comes with 120Hz refresh rate and even if you have already enabled the high refresh rate option, when you open certain apps, the refresh rate goes down to 60Hz just to save a bit of your phone's battery but it doesn't feel that smooth. Now if you really want to have that extra smoothness all the time, you need to activate the developer settings on your phone. So just go to about phone and tap on this build number for 7 times. Now simply go back, select settings and here you will find a brand new setting called developer options. Just go inside and search for this option called force peak high refresh rate. It is disabled by default, just go ahead and turn it on. This will make sure that your refresh rate always stays at 120Hz and it definitely make the animations a lot smoother. It does consumes a bit more battery but trust me you'll get a lot better experience. Since we are in developer options, there is another setting that you need to turn on and it's called predictive back animations. This is a really interesting gesture that's been added in Android 14 and what it does is, it lets you glance at the previous menu even before going back to that page. By just using the back gesture, I can glance at the previous menu before I actually exit the current page. It currently works only in the phone settings but I think it's a pretty useful feature that you need to enable on your Pixel phone. Finally, let's talk about some camera features. When you are in camera, you just need to swipe up and you get some different photo settings to take some high quality pictures on your phone. Night sight mode helps you to take some better pictures at night. And if you want to capture some macro shots, then you can activate this macro focus mode. Not only this, you also get some pro features where you can change the resolution of your photos from 12 to 50 megapixels. 
you can capture some raw photos and if you click on the slider at the bottom right, it lets you to adjust the brightness, change the white balance, control the ISO, shutter speed and do lot more. So these are all the pro features that you get to take some amazing photos on your phone. Now if you go into video mode, here you can record up to 4K 60fps videos on your phone. You can shoot HDR videos and there is an option called speech enhancement that will help you to capture your speech a lot better when you are in noisy locations. Apart from this, you can also record cinematic videos with some nice blur in the background. And the best part is, it even lets you to control the amount of blur while recording videos on your phone. You can also control the exposure and the white balance for your videos. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some of the best tips, tricks and hidden features for your Pixel 8 and 8 Pro. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.